Fabulism. And that, ladies and gentlemen, sums up my review of Whoopi Goldberg's sit down with Brian Tetta on today's Behind the Table podcast. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you later. Have a great one. <laughs> of course, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. There's more to the story. Guys, ooh, let me, t- okay, first of all, first of all, I mean, there's so much I want to say. Now, you'll probably get this tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow being Tuesday. There's so much I want to say, but what I will tell you is this. Girl, if you don't listen to Nary, <laughs> or as we used to say growing up in the South, South, now another, okay? <laughs> if you don't listen to now another, <laughs> one of these uh, podcasts, you have got to listen to today's podcast with Whoopi. You don't want to, you want to know um, what I felt listening to Whoopi. It really made me miss my mama. It really did. A lot of you know, my mom has been gone now for two and a half years. Uh, she passed away suddenly. And, you know, I know Whoopi is not a Southern woman, but it's, it's just her, her whole vibe of telling it like it is and um, having the ability to back folks up off of her. My mom was very different uh, from Whoopi in a lot of ways, but in terms of that quality, her and her sisters who are, who are all gone as well, they were just like that. I mean, if you ask them a question, you got the answer. If you didn't want the truth, don't ask them. Um, my mom was a lot more tactful and all those things, but I will tell you, I was like, oh, I miss mama. Oh my God. And before I start crying, let me stop talking about her. Rest in, in power in paradise, mama. But <laughs> I want to play for y'all some of my favorite parts. Okay. The whole thing was my favorite part. Okay. <laughs> but here are just a few snippets that I was like, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Let's go. You don't know what I'm doing unless I tell you. Sorry about that. Let's go again. <laughs> Relax, y'all. Yeah. You don't know what I'm doing I unless also, I tell you. Also- Here's the next one that I just loved. Yeah, right. If I was getting any, you would know. Because I would tell you I'm getting some. Right now, I'm not interested because I just got over COVID and it's too damn hot. All right. when you get- and the next one. And then you, you were nice enough to do a, a video for the audience, which cracked me up because there were all these stories that you were playing hooky. Or is, that you I were- mean, I, I don't understand. Really, I don't. I don't understand. Whatever happened to, oh, you're out, you're sick. Well, why do you think, why would I lie? Why would I lie when it's so easy to catch me in a lie? Well, that's what I told people, because people did say to me, even people who we know, both yeah. know, said to me, you sure she's not just still taking another week of vacation? And I said, first of all, I mean, I get it, because you're also an uh, award-winning actress. And, and, yes, you know. but I, you know, here's the, here's the thing. And so that I don't spoil the whole thing for you, this is just the last one that I'll play. Okay. I was pretty good today. You were great. I was very good today because I could have taken uh, uh, fun in your mouth. Yeah, I know. I know. I held my breath. Get into it. If you, I know you want to do it. Was- yeah, this was just good. So, Brian, uh, first of all, y'all, let me just say this. I think all of us who are listening to the Behind the Table podcast, we need to give Brian Tedda a round of applause because for him to be an executive producer he is so relatable. He's so down to earth, it seems. I know I don't know the man. I know I've never met him, although I have windmilled for him in these internet streets <laughs> forever. He is doing a fantastic job. I love the fact that he is not afraid or he is not intimidated or he is not concerned uh, with what the tabloids or the blogs will say, that he's actually addressing a lot of the rumors with each of them. Like with Whoopi, he spent a lot of the time dispelling rumors. <laughs> And I loved it. I'm like, wow, wow, wow. Now, Brian, I have to ask you something. This is what I want to know. I just want it to be cleared up. (laughs) And I'm going to love her anyway, no matter what she says. Okay. Why does Whoopi Chew? I just want to know. I mean, does she have a problem? (laughs) I mean, it's none of my business. I get it. But I just want to know, like, where does she get the audacity to chew on a live show? Like, are y'all okay with it? Are y'all cool with it? Now, I understand, Brian, I may be asking for too much information, (laughs) but I'm nosy. okay? Uh, but I will just tell you that if I could ask her any. Well, that's that I I would ask her something serious and deep if I could ask her any question. But if I was just being my nosy self (laughs) and I could ask her any question, I'd want to know. First of all, I want to know two things, Brian. One, why did she pick a white shirt 
as the shirt of her uniform. Like when you see Whoopi out anywhere at events, if she's not dressed to the nines, she will typically have on a white shirt. Is that because white is her favorite color? Or And then my second question, being the nosy person, would be about the chewing, okay? <laughs> I'm telling you, listening to this podcast has gotten me in a fantastic mood uh, because Whoopi is just all that in a bag of chips. Okay, guys, that's all I got for today. Listen again, if you don't listen to now another one, okay, you got to listen to this one because I'm telling you, it was fabulous. I'll talk to you guys on the next review. Bye, guys.